Hey guys, this is Vic from Pierce the Veil, and this is HeartSupport.com. On tour, I would say, to be honest, like the, the one thing that'll stress me out the most is, uh, is my voice, pretty much. You know, as a singer, it's like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty laid back guy most of the time, but like, as soon as my voice starts to go, it's like, uh, you know, vocal rest, like no talking. Um, the guys kind of like make fun of me whenever I'm on vocal rest because uh, it just seems like I'm being a dick and then I'm like angry at everybody. But uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, that's like the one thing in my life that that will really you'll know if I'm not uh, if I'm feeling kind of bummed out. It's because uh, you know I can't do the one thing that I'm here to do, which is sing songs to you guys. So. Um, that uh, that really bums me out um, when I'm on tour, and uh, so you just gotta be careful, get some sleep. It's the only thing you can do. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, the only thing you can do, like, uh, if you're feeling like depressed on tour, you're just bummed out, you're, you know, my voice is gone, or you know, uh, I'm missing the family or something like that. I guess, uh, you know. The the one thing that keeps us going is definitely seeing our fans singing songs. Like when I like look at them and and uh, and when we're doing these shows, that's uh, that's really the payoff for everything. Um, you know, uh, when we wrote the songs, like back home, it was just like us in a small practice space. So it's kind of cool to be out here on tour and uh, seeing them all actually come to life. And um, you know that 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 alone will help you you know, push through anything that's going wrong, you know, whether it's, you know, a hurting voice or, or, uh, or, you know, um, just being homesick or, uh, you know, breaking your foot. Me and Jaime both, both broke our ankles while we were in the UK <laughs> at different times. And, uh, you know, um, but it's all worth it, you know, when you get to play a show at the end of the day. Um, so my support system, um, you know, I would st I would definitely say, you know, it's pretty obvious, you know, we're, I'm around my band constantly, so they are a big support system to us. Um, we, whenever anyone's going through something crazy, um, you know, like a family member going through something or, or whatever, um, that's kind of when we really show how close we actually have become over the, over the years um, and you know, almost like brothers um, because uh, you know who else do we have out here while we're while we're touring you know um, so uh, that you know when when we go through hard times together you know that's kind of th what brings us even closer and um, you know and other than that you know I've got my my best friends at home, my roommates uh, that I live with, my parents, give them a call every once in a while when you really need to, uh, uh, you know, get that feeling of being home again. And um, I'm also kind of a, uh, a solo person a lot of the times, like on on days off, I'll, the band knows that I'm always the one that'll just go wandering around the city and uh, and listening to music and if if you're, I mean, half the pictures that you've ever seen of me, I'm usually wearing headphones because I'm just walking around listening to music, and that's kind of therapeutic for me. Um, and that's you know another support system just for myself is just listening to music. The thing that we found in this band over the last like seven years is is definitely been to basically just show ourselves. Uh, in a normal light, the way that we always are together, just kind of being our funny selves, hanging out and and not hiding anything uh, from people. I, I think the, the the important thing about our band is that we've always kind of just um, I don't know been you know found. <laughs> it's hard to, hard to describe here. Of. Uh, I think the thing that they, they attach most to is that they get to see us in our normal selves. You know, we're not acting like something else. We're not trying to dress a certain way. We're not trying to, uh, um, you know, put on some sort of front. And um, we've kind of figured that out over the years, that that's the best way to connect with people is um, to just let them see who you are. And uh, whether it be on 
stage or doing interviews or, or photos. Um, and uh, I think that's what people have connected with with our band, you know, um, just seeing us joke around. Sometimes I, I see people write, you know, when I see you guys um, having a good time together, that's that makes me feel like someday I can be uh, happy as well, you know, with my friends and in, in my life. So um, I think that's the important thing is just to just keep uh, keep showing yourself uh, and being proud of who you are and just being um, I don't know open. So my advice to anyone trying to uh, follow a dream or make something happen in their life, um, I would just say you have to you know pick something that you love doing so that you can just do it forever and whether you become insanely successful with it or whether or, or not you know that's like at least you're being uh, happy doing what you love to do um, and if you really love something just keep at it um, because you know like for example our band um, you know it took years to before we got signed to a record label or started touring and we never thought that we would ever get signed or, or do what we're doing right now um, but that didn't matter in the beginning you know we were just uh, um, having fun in our bedroom and playing small shows and um, so you know we just kept at it and kept at it and then one day out of, out of the blue you know we got a call and things just started taking off on a bigger level so yeah my advice is just to keep keep at what you're doing and getting better at it and, and loving what you're doing and um, I think naturally something awesome will happen.